The 20 Ghost Club was uh, set up in, it's the oldest Rolls-Royce car club in the world, and it was set up at the end of the 1940s by a group of people who were concerned about uh, the deterioration of a lot of the old cars, and they wanted to save these these older cars. So the Rolls-Royce, this is very impressive. How, how, tell us about this little beast quickly. 1923, uh, 1910 body, and she's been in the... Um, Canadian Niagara Falls Mu Museum. Uh, this is a 1920 car. It came out of India. It was owned by the Maharaja of Dabanga. Uh, and uh, it, it came out of India, very bad condition, in storage for about 35 years in a leaky shed. And then we bought it and uh, restored it. Hey, you're all looking the parts. I bet you would in something this posh, wouldn't you? Well, thank you very much. That's very generous of you. Tell us about this little beauty. Well, it's 1921, uh, originally bought by the Maharaja of Poor Banda. They liked their roses, they didn't they? They certainly did. He, um, what, he was 18 when he bought it, and he wanted a sporty-looking car. So if you look, it's only got two doors rather than four. It's got a V-shaped windscreen at the front, and he used to drive it himself. It's 1912. It was uh, one of Rolls Royce's demonstrators. It went to India, and uh, we've had it for the last... 30 odd years and driven all over Europe and been to Australia, all over the place in it. And it must be quite rare for people to be able to see so many all in one place. Yes, it is. Although we had 45 of them in Austria like, like a month ago, we did a, a great big Alpine tour. And uh, so there was the centenary of the 1913 Alpine Rally. Palmer and his wife, Joy. Would you. Would this you, looks um, pristine and great. almost brand new. Tell us about it. What about the car? <laughs> It's a lovely old lady, started life in 1915, then the war intervened, so it wasn't actually finished till 1919, and has been on the road ever since then. Rear wheel brakes only, which means that A, you have to plan ahead, and B, you have to be very brave. In this day and age, good luck in Prince Risborough. He didn't tell me that when he was giving me a lift.